I'm going to share with you how to clean an electroforming solution. The products that you'll need are an old jug, a funnel, your solution in your beaker, distilled water, brightener, coffee filters, and paper towels. Make sure that you have gloves on and protective goggles. The first step is to pour your solution into your old jug and you'll notice all the copper sludge at the bottom. That's what we're trying to get rid of. Okay, the next step is with your funnel, you can use two to three coffee filters. You put it inside your funnel and you keep pouring. I try not to keep pouring um, so that that sludge will stay in the bottom of the beaker. Okay, so right here I'm taking out my funnel and you're going to notice all that leftover sludge. Take a wad of paper towels and you're just going to wipe on the inside of the beaker to remove all the leftover copper. Now you're going to repeat this process until you notice that all the copper residue is out of your solution. Depending on how long it's been since you've cleaned your bath, it might take two to four different times of going back between the jug and the beaker until you notice that it's all gone. Before I add my solution for the last time, I'm adding my 12 gauge anode to the inside of my beaker. And you just want to make sure it lines the inside and you have about an inch dangling over the edge. What I'm pointing to on the beaker is where I have a piece of scotch tape. That lets me know how much I need to refill my solution. In order to replenish my solution, I'm using a little bit of distilled water up until the top of my scotch tape. And then I'm adding a few drops of the Midas brightener, which I will link below the video. This step might not be necessary for you, but I find that my clips sometimes get little crystals from the solution. So I'm just cleaning those off. Mm -hmm. 
I used my 12 gauge wire to cut my bus bar that I'm going to place on top of the beaker. And then I'm going to connect my red wire to the anode, which is the wire that lines the beaker. And then I'm going to use the black wire and I connect that to the bus bar or the cathode. I'm adding my 24 gauge wire to my bus bar so that I can hang the object that I'm electroforming. And then I'll let the solution sit about 15 minutes to let any leftover copper particles sink to the bottom.